When I'm away from home, for work that is, I like to stay at nice hotels. Maybe this is because my typical travel experience is usually dictated by my children, forcing me to stay at places with holiday or western in their name. Places frequently selected based solely on the size of the water slide. So it was the great excitement, nay jubilation, that I checked into my classy hotel a few nights ago. Now, I can ignore the irony of locating this hotel across from a strip club. Sure, I was expecting picturesque views and instead I got burlesque nudes. But mistakes happen. Maybe when I booked, we got our Hillary's crossed. I was expecting something swanky. You know, a place where a swanky Hillary would stay. But instead, uh, the neighbor is actually Hillary Swank. Not that I'm complaining much. I'm just like that six-year-old kid. A bit surprised at first. But I'm sure that over time, I could grow to love it. But who cares about the outside, really? It's not like I'm sleeping there. With hotels, it's like the cliché says. It's the inside that counts. So, up to my room I went. And it was all that I imagined. See, lassie, classy. I mean, the bed even had an origami bird on it. Now, I'm not sure if they have a bunch of hotel maids chained up in the basement churning out these tiny paper cranes, but no one can deny that it added a touch of class to the room. Sure, I put my pants on it while unpacking, lost it, and then had it fall out of my pant leg the next day when I got ready for work, but when I arrived, I was dutifully impressed. People who know me know that I like the bathroom. For a father, it is a place of solitude, a place to dispose of solitudes. My family continually jokes, see you in 20 minutes, whenever I head to the bat cave. So obviously the next place I checked out was what the Canadian French call the toilette, eh? Or the British have dubbed the water closet. I really wanted to see how much hoity was in this toity. And it was terribly classy. No, I really mean it. Classy is terrible. This shouldn't be a place for class. It's a place for my... Ooh, come on, come on, come on! Rob, what's up? Oh, doing the pee-pee dance, bro? Nice. I love that dance. <laughs> First off, the shower did not have a glass enclosure. Yes, I know they're hard to clean, but I don't care. Last time I stayed in a place with a shower curtain, I flooded the joint. It was almost biblical, the amount of water that I spilled on the floor to soak into the rug of the adjacent bedroom. I know it was my fault and that I needlessly frolic under the water, but splashy fun times is the second best part of showering. So now I can't do that, and I have to try to stick the shower curtain to the wall to create a moisture barrier. This requires me to paint the tile with water and then stick the cloth curtain, really cloth, to the tile, but now the other side of the shower curtain pulls out. Damn it. So I give up and take a bath, which is terrible as a fat man. Secondly, white towels. I know white is classy and elegant, but I'm getting older. I know this is hard for 20-year-olds to understand, but as you age, you turn into basically one of those stone dudes from the Game of Thrones. Normally, towels are forgiving, but white towels? Not so much. I get ready for bed, and my hand towel is like a Jackson Pollock painting. I get where the red and yellow are coming from, but blue? Gross. So I use Kleenex. That's better. I throw the stains away, but they fall apart, so I grab a new one and toss it. Now my garbage can is literally exploding with used Kleenex, so my waste basket looks worse than it did when I was 16. And I can just see the maid when she comes in. Oh. But the worst is the toilet. Apparently, what we need is one of those Japanese-style toilets. I give you a happy poopy time. Sorry, you know too much. Oh, this is neat, I think. But then I try to get it to work. There are like a million buttons, most of which have these strange IKEA icons on them. So I push one and wait. I feel like I'm Sulu, ready to embark on my first exciting mission. Nothing. So I break out the owner's manual and start pressing all of the buttons. Now many things happen all at once. As Several Welcome. unwelcome wonders to begin to touch my unders. I get air, various amounts of spray which move and pulsate. Oh, I freak out. I don't like this. This isn't natural. 
My colon is collapsing with the unfamiliar stimuli, so I push buttons at random and eventually it all stops. Whew. I decide I'm done with the toilet, or so I thought. I might have been done with it, but it was not done with me. The following morning, I... It had a chance to enact its revenge for what I guess was the, my mistreatment of it. They say that revenge is a dish best served cold, but in this case, the opposite was true. Apparently, I had adjusted the seat warmer on the washlet, and the default temperature was the fiery pits of Dante's hell. My experience, I believe, is songworthy. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much heat drives a man insane. You broke my will. I wasn't thrilled. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! Needless to say, it is now in drugs. And the next time I travel, I think I'll go back to the good old Holiday Inn Express. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And as a follow-up, the toilet has claimed another victim. My roommate's nards, chestnuts roasting on an open fire.